today our wonderful Secretary of State Kerry and um, Pr Prime Minister Benjamin Yahoo had a bit of a disagreement. Um, Kerry accused him of thwarting plans for peace in the Middle East. Now, it should be noted that he's got a month left to go of being in office. Um, he succeeded Clinton back in 2013 on February 1st. Well, I, I know that was the day she left that office. I'm not sure what exact day he took office. But the point is, um, it was a really unprecedented thing to do. You don't usually talk such, uh, I guess, profane rhetoric in regards to one of your allies, especially one that is as close as Yahoo and Yahoo made a response um, where he criticized Kerry and he said that, you know, stuff he was talking about just wasn't factual. Now, normally I'd go on and on and on, but I've decided to make this kind of a multi-subject video. The other big thing that happened today on this horrible December 28th was uh, the death of Debbie Reynolds, who, you know, it, I get irritated because when I hear stuff about her, and I'm not trying to be mean here, it it brings me back to that thing from TV tropes about a death in the limelight. Um, when was the last time you heard of Debbie Reynolds before this and yesterday and this actually this week, uh, as the you know the stuff with uh, Carrie Fisher was going on before she died yesterday. Think of one time you heard of her in the last 20 years. I've been following the news every day for the last at least three or four years, and I didn't hear a single thing about her. And that's no indictment on her or her significance as a person. I don't like this thing the media does where they'll ignore a celebrity exists completely up until they die. They did the same thing with Ricky Harris two days ago, who made, I don't want to say a little bit more sense, but he was on a lower tier than um, Reynolds was at, at all points of his career. It is what it is. So, I didn't expect for it to be headlined front, front page news, but, you know, for celebrities that stay active up until, like, Carrie Fisher's death wasn't a death in the limelight because she still was being talked about up until she passed away. Um, which, again, probably is from the fact that, you know, Star Wars uh, started back and, all of that. That's probably the reason, uh, in my view, anyway. But it befuddles me that you would bring up this person's mother. And, you know, I'm someone who has no personal attachment to her. I had an attachment to Carrie Fisher because of Star Wars films. So it's really hard to just go, oh, man, poor Debbie. Now, is it sad that she lost her daughter? Of course. Is it sad that she died over, you know, a disease? Of course. But I cannot, you know, go, oh. It's terrible. It's awful. Oh, it's just, I can't do it. Um, and I'm not saying that if you do that, you're crazy or you're pretend or you're showing. I'm just saying that deaths that hit me hard are usually, if I don't know the person, like I didn't know Carrie Fisher, I still have an attachment to them from seeing them in something. Say if, um, I'm trying to think of a celebrity I could give you an example of. Say if Mark Hamill had died, I, you know, Luke was my favorite Star Wars character and I associate him with that character because he played that character. Let's talk about something, uh, somebody foreign related, uh, what's her name, Masako Noz Nozoa, the, the lady that does Goku in, uh, D uh, Dragon Ball in Japan, or her, the original voice actor, if, you know, to be exact. If she passed away, I would feel an attachment because I've seen some of the Japanese dub. I've been watching Super in Japanese for the last year and a half. I associate her with his character, with Gohan's character, all these different characters in that series. So I feel an attachment to that person because I'm so used to them being around or being alive or just existing that when I find out they don't exist anymore and I'll never be able to see anything new with them again, that disappoints me and that depresses me and that makes me sad. Not to the point of, oh man, forget the whole world, but it, it definitely makes me feel as if something is missing because I knew something existed when that person was here. And now that they're gone, um, a piece of that puzzle is also gone. The puzzle in my heart. Not trying, I'm not even trying to be funny, but I, you know, I, I had to kind of link that back there. All I can say is, um, 
I know the video is rambling and off topic and so awfully put together. I've got something I'm, I'm planning on putting out tomorrow. Um, I think I might do another Let's Draw video. But yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day.